What's going on guys, it's Jack Gills, 8075 here, back again with the Erste FC Magdeburg RTG career mode on Football Manager 2020. And today will be an emotional episode as we play the last five games of the Dritte Liga season, yep. We're going to be playing to the end of the season in this episode, so it's a bumper special, five games to get out of the way, and that is it, the three Liga season done. There's been mostly highs, there's been a few lows, but it's been mostly highs, and you guys have been with me every step of the way as we have bossed this league. You know, we've only lost three games. That's, there's still time for that to change the day. We've only lost three games. We've been, look at that, look at those 81 goals scored. We've been ripping the league up. So, absolutely, and I've just had a thoroughly good time recording this with you guys, uh, sh taking you through the journey up the three liga. We've bossed the three liga. And I'll tell you what, we'll be getting into the Bundesliga too, and that's when we get right into proper meat of this career mode. Um, so this was just a formality, but I've enjoyed doing it. We've had we've had a lot of good moments on this game. You know, we've had a lot of good moments, and I've got to say I've really enjoyed uh, going through this journey. So today it's going to be a wee bit emotional. Happy and sad at the same time. You know, we're happy that we're getting promoted to the Bundesliga too, and we're going to get the three-liga title, let's be honest. But also sad that we're coming to an end of this because, of course, we had some great derby wins over Haller. We've had fun, you know, we've had some funny moments. So I'm, I'm, I'm really getting a bit emotional about this. But, you know, it is what it is. That was probably one of my crapper intros. But it's an emotional time. We're about to get promoted. So anyway, in this game, it's a bumper special, like I was saying. We've got our last five games of the season. Ingolstadt, Chemnitz, 1860 Munich, Hansa Rostock, and a nice wee one end up the season at home against Plyce and Munster. So we're just going to jump right into the games after I introduce you to a certain someday. Yep, Kimbe Unareo. He's coming in from Germania Halberstadt as soon as I... Um, as soon as the transfer window opens, he'll be coming to play with us. Just for a little bit of backup, I thought 20, he's got a good potential um, and he wasn't costing much. He didn't. We didn't actually pay 130,000 for him. We paid his 85,000 uh, euro release clause. So there you go. He's got a good potential. Young player coming in from Germania Halberstadt. Uh, I can't check, because I've not got the database for the lower leagues loaded, I can't check his stat, his... Uh, Goal scoring stats or anything like that, but he seems like a decent young striker, a lot of potential there, and some good base stats. He'll probably be a nice wee backup for when we get up to the Bundesliga too. But apart from so that's him, so we've already sort of made our first signing, which is brilliant. But apart from that, you just got to jump right into the game today. First one, English start at home. Now we dealt out a five one hammer into them eh, when we played them at their place. So hopefully we can win today. This is how we're going to be lining up. Fatty's back in the team, although Jakobsen is suspended. Um, so that's going to be interesting. I'll show you how we're lining up. So Beck is playing up front. Fatty and Mushel are the wide men in the midfield. We have Bertram, Ritter and Becker. And at the back we have Kuglin, Milosovic, Bomhoyer and Pertl. And in goals, and wearing the captain's armband today, is the main man himself, our number one, Viavino. So let's just jump right into this. Alf Gates Magdeburg, we're at home. Hopefully we can do this. English start. I've got Bruno Labadia now. He's went down in the world. He's went from Hertha in the Bundesliga to mid table in the, well not mid table but sort of. Hmm. I don't know why I said mid table, but he's he's yeah he's doing he's in the three league. I, I I can't really think. I recorded this early in the morning. Now it's probably going to be up about afternoon time. This is because of my college stuff. I'm actually. I'll actually explain a bit more about that at the end of the video, but we're coming into half time. Neither us nor Ingolstadt have had greater chances, but they are dominating in possession. So they've had more chances, but none of us have had great chances, no clear cut chances. They're playing on balance. I think we're going to just remain on control for now. Don't want to risk attacking in case. No teams, no teams really look like a winning team so far. We shouldn't be giving the ball away like that. Fat, he's carrying it up though. Giving it away. Oh, and this is a good move forward. That's a corner. Can we do something with that corner? No, we cannot. I think it's time for some substitutions. Bertram has been horrific. Um, Bertram, Bertram's on a five match rate, and that is spectacular. Um, so, anyway, we'll, I think we'll leave it like that for now. 
and just see how it goes. I'm not quite prepared to switch up to attacking yet. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Ingolstadt, just what were we doing there? Why, why was nobody marking them? No, this is this is bollocks, guys. This is absolute bollocks. What are we doing? Right, we need to get we need to get some attacking football going here. We're at home for Pete's sake. Oh, come on, Rutter. Good job. That's an equaliser. Yeah, I think Beck's gonna come off. We'll bring Steiny on now. He's been a late. He's won matches for us in the past before, so hopefully, I think that's game right. Bit disappointed in that, given that we thrashed them five one at their place last time. But obviously they've remembered that you know we're getting tired, and I think a wee bit of complacent. Beaster scores for them and then Ritter puts the ball away for us to get an equaliser. I think that's a fair result. Neither team looked like a winning team today. Neither us nor Ingolstadt looked like a winning team. So we've got a draw. You know, it's not it's not the worst. Bertram had a pretty horrific game. But that means we're guaranteed promoted anyway. So that's fantastic. No matter what we do. I mean, we sort of knew that was coming. But we're guaranteed promoted. So there we go. A positive where we drew fouls from the opposition, defence team tackles well, defence dominated in there, conceded a few clear cut chances, and striker was dominant there. The negative, so a lack of goal threat from the attacking midfielders, where we saw that. I mean, Bertram was on a five. Strikers struggled to bring teammates into play, strikers didn't test opposition keeper enough, and there was wasteful goalkeeper distribution. So, all in all, it was so so, I'd say. But um, there we go. We have definitely. I mean, Bomb Hoyer wants a new contract. You know, no problem. We need him. But we're definitely promoted. That's fantastic. So, we're on 79 points. Still 10 ahead of Würzburg. Now, coming up against Chemnitz, they are 11th. So, you know, it, hopefully we'll win this game. But it's a way we're going down to the stadium. I'm Gelsa Strass, of course. Another big old East German team. Formerly Karl Marx start. So, hopefully we can get a win against them. Oh, I forgot I looked at. Uh, I forgot I was looking at this guy. Yet. Don't worry about him. We're not actually going to sign him. Okay, there we go. I forgot we even had him. Yeah, we weren't represented in the team of the week. Okay, yeah, this is another player I was looking at from Halberstadt who we might sign, um, actually. So, as you guys are about to see, I might get, well that's that, another player in on a pre-contract. So, that, that's good, you just saw me make a little signing on screen there, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Now, Shemnitz, as you can see, they're not, you know, there's no major concerns to report, which is great. They've got a lot of negatives in the team. Oh, no, why does, he's only just come back. That's fatty out until the end of the season then, I think. Oh, that's perfect. So there's no fatty. There's no fatty. We're going to have to have another improvised team now. Bertram, we've not got any other wide players. That's a bit of a nightmare that fatty's um, injured. But c'est la vie, c'est la football. We've just got to power on ahead. But anyway, on to Chemnitz, studying under Gelster Strasse. We should be able to win this. I'm, I'm not confident because we've just lost like one of our best players, but he didn't really do much against Ingolstadt anyway. Ooh, that was close. From Gajula there. We're creating the, we're creating the chances, we're just not scoring enough. Okay, good ball forward there. No, nothing was really done with it. Was Gajula held yet? Yeah, we got a free kick. Rota, I tell you what, it was close. We've been dominating. We need to be scoring though. If they score, we get good for Via Vino there. 
I mean, we need to be capitalising on these chances. This is worrying, given that we're going to be in the big bad Bundesliga two next season. You know, this is you know we can't have any we can't have anything like this next season. I've got to say, we're looking at some more clinical strikers. Beck's been a passenger in this game. If I'm being honest, right? Free kick in a dangerous area. What can we do? Nothing. That's what we can do. Shame that she get the free. Oh, oh, goody. Shame that she's down to 10 men. I thought they'd got a penalty there. They hadn't. We've got a penalty, though. Come on, Gajula. Come on, Jurgen Gajula, the big bad Albanian. He puts the ball away. 1 0. That's what I'm on about. Okay, now we can just keep this up and make some subs. We really should be. Get the ball in! Cut her back! Cut her back! Scores, I'm amazed at that. Brilliant goal as well. Come on, cut her back. 2-0. That's what I'm on about. I mean, we really should be more. We're going to have to address that. Beck, you're coming off my son. Steiny's coming on. Bell Bell's coming on in the middle of the park as well. Brilliant from cut her back there. He gets his first goal. He opens his account with an amazing strike and I think that's all she wrote in this game we're coming up to the last 10 minutes just you know I think we should have won by more but you know it's shame that they've had a man sent off as well so oh come on Steiny just to, just to bury it just to put the final nail in the coffin there we go perfecto this is more like it and I, okay referee blows the whistle 3-0 win nice wee 3-0 win 3-0 win away and Chemnitz just to get us oh that's it oh well look at that okay uh, uh, to avoid copyright there's not going to be any music over it but we've won the three league title I didn't realise we were going to win it um, but we've won it away I would have rather we won it at home but hell we've won the three league title and that's my first bit of silverware we've won the league we have won the league and we're going up perfecto so that's us we've won the league we have won the three league title after a 3 0 win over Chemnitz at the Stadion Am Gellerstrasse. So, the positives were midfield showed good creativity, Drew Phillips in opposition, defence 10 tackles well, because he had a few clear cut chances, attacking midfielders got in the box frequently, maintained good width, striker was dominant there. The negatives were there was none. Perfecto. Absolutely perfecto. That is brilliant. And of course, we've just won the three league title as well which I am really, really, really happy about. We've won the three Liga title. Like I said, we'd have rather have won it at home, but who cares? We're three Liga champions now. That is what that is what we like to see. We've won the three Liga title, and the board are delighted by the three Liga success. And look at that. I've proved I'm one of the best managers at the level. That's what I like to see now. That means if we go into the trophy cabinet, look at that. Three Liga title. 2019, 20, and there's going to be more in there. Don't you guys worry. There is going to be more. So, the last three games are going to just be, well, formalities now. We've won the league. We have won the league, and look at that. Perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm overcome with emotion, guys. We've won the three league title. It's not the most prestigious award out there, but it's silverware. And it's my first, first season, first bit of silverware. That's what we like to see. And Gajula was in the team of the week. Very happy with him for that. My slight favourites against 1860 Munich. That doesn't matter. Another thing is, like I said, we've got another player coming. Th we've got another player coming through the door, um, which is great. Is just a little bit of backup. Where we go at home against 1860 Munich, we're newly crowned three Liga champions. Can we get a nice wee win today? Okay, that was close. Oh, building up some nice attacking play there again. 1860 minute goalkeeper gets to it easy though. Okay, corner. Oh, he, he, he took that on. We've been the mere dominant of the two teams. I think we should... Uh, I hope we just, hopefully we score some goals. So we've had six shots. One on target. 
I've got to say there's probably been more than that. Oh, right. I, I don't think that's entirely accurate given the amount we blasted at the keeper. But 1860 Munich are unbalanced. I think we are probably just going to stay on control um, and see how it goes. We really should be winning this game, though. Okay, Bertram carries well. We've got ourselves a corner. Maybe we should have tried to cross that earlier. Not that it matters. Oh, no, 1860 Munich had a good counter attack going there, but we broke it up. Obviously, we want to win this, but it's not the end of the world if we, you know, don't, because it's mission accomplished for me. We'll take Rotter off because he has a yellow card. But it's mission accomplished for me because we've won the league and we're going up. We are going up. Say we are going up. And bring Bell Bell on as well. So that's all our substitutions made. Just to see out the last... Tw oh, God, right. Always say with scores. I, mm, I don't really understand how that's happened. Oh, obviously I can. They weren't marking them, but ah, oh, that's that's not great. I mean, I was envisaging we were going to win all these five games. It's going to be amazing, but I think we're, we're maybe we're maybe still a bit hungover from the title celebrations there. That story of the game that. We're either blasting shots at the 1860 Munich keeper or, yeah, it was a loss. Obviously, I'm disappointed and annoyed because look at those stats. We really should have won that. But at the same time, we have, we have won the league and the lads might have been a bit hungover. Might have been a bit too much Jaeger bombs on the bus back up to Magdeburg from Chemnitz the other night there. So, you know... Yeah, you just got to look at it the way it is. The, the, the positives are we drew fills in the opposition, defence team tackles well, defence dominating there, conceded a few clear cut chances, the negatives were we snatched at chances and Striker didn't test opposition keeping enough. I'd say to lose that was cruel on us. But like I said, it is what it is. We've lost the lads maybe too many Jaeger bombs on the way back up from Chemnitz after winning the league last night. You know, you, you, we've got to take that. It was sloppy, not a game we really should have lost, but ho hum. We're coming up against Hansa Rostock. Now, Rostock are going to be competitive because that all-important playoff space is still getting hotly contested. Now, Rostock are rivals of ours as well, so we really should be we really should be beat winning this game. I really hope we win this game. I'm probably going. To, I'm actually going to change the system up for this game. I'm going to change it to a four-four-two. Yep, so that's, that's just how we're going to line up. And we're going to go attacking. Elf Gates, Magdeburg. We're away. We're up at the Ossese Stadium. We're up, we're up at the sunny Baltic coast of Germany, up in Rostock, to play another massive East German team. Of course, hands are Rostock and rivals of ours, so we better win this. Come on, Michel! That's what I'm on about. Get in there, Michel. We've been dominating them as well. I mean, we've had four shots, four on target. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, right, Briar's goal was disallowed. That's that's good. Thank you, assistant. So that 500 euros I slipped, you went to good use. No, I'm kidding. I'm not I'm not corrupt. That's, don't, don't, don't listen to that. And if the DFB are listening, that's definitely not true. I'll give you 500 euros as well. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. So, my, that's... The lost look like this wee unorthodox formation here. I think we're 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 doing all right. Michel got us the goal. Michel got us the goal. We've got the lead. Hopefully we can keep that lead or extend it. Okay. Oh, Steiny! Oh, it's disallowed. He was offside. He was offside. Oh, unlucky Steiny. It'll come. A chance will come again. Time to bring Big Ansu into the fray. He's not been doing well the past couple of episodes, I've got to say, but eh, the season he's had, you've got to hand it to him. He's, he's going to get the three-league golden boot, I think. I'm not quite sure. You know, skying it over the bar, it's never too late to sort of put the final nail in the coffin. Like Pep Guardiola says, never take your foot off the pedal, ever. 
You'll always try, even to the last minute, you always try. No, nothing there. And that's that full time. We get a 1 0 win against Hansa Rostock. Did we deserve it? Probably not. But yeah, who cares? We won. Um, we weren't taking chances. They could have been 2 0, but Steiny was offside. Um, and that is that for that game. Quality possession more than quantity. I'll agree with that. Just a nice wee tight 1 0 win. It doesn't matter how much you win by as long as you win. So, the positives from the Hansa Rostock game midfield so great. Good creativity, defence 10 tackles well, conceded a few clear cut chances, strikers are dominant there, and the negatives are the midfield failed to retain possession. So that is that. Now, we've got a little bit of an emotional, a little bit of an emotional uh, game today. And then, this is the last game of the episode and the last game of our three league season. What a campaign it has been! What a campaign it has been. Yeah, the Munster are eleventh and haven't won any of the past five. So hopefully we can get a nice wee confident win here. But it's going to be a like I've said, it's going to be an emotional game. This is the last game of a three league campaign. When we started out against Carl Zeishena, I didn't expect we'd get anywhere near this point. Um but we're here. We're here. We've got the three league title under our belts. So we'll be playing Bundesliga two football next season. It's gonna be really exciting. There's exciting stuff happening at Magdeburg. So let's end it up with a nice home win for the fans against Price and Munster. Let's go. Also, they have a crap ton of injuries, a lot of which are mid, you know, first team players. So hopefully we just get the job done today. Okay, that was that was. I mean, that was the right idea. You could go in. We've got a free kick in a dangerous area here. Ooh, we've got a corner. Okay. Becker skies that, and it's 0-0 so far in our last game of the season. Come on, it's the last game of the season. This is when crazy things happen. This is when crazy things happen. This is when 5-5 five, five draws and everything happen. And not some stale 0-0. Come on, give me a show here. Okay, right. Score a goal. Okay, maybe not. Look, we should be winning. We've we've not had much of the ball, but we've had more shots. Right. Bell, bell can cut. Right. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, do, we'll change our front two. Are we going to end the season with a boring nil nil draw, or are we going to end the season with a win? I think the answer to this is going to become pretty clear. The way we've been playing, I think the answer is pretty clear to this. I think it's going to be a nice wee stale nil nil draw. Drab. Absolutely drab. That's the only word for it. This is horrific. This has been absolutely well and truly horrific. It's not been the end of the season I wanted, but yeah, say la vie. Chester football. Okay, we've got a free kick. Come on, just score from this. No, come on. No, they just right. They keep right. Come on, they get. We can not we at least get a penalty. Oh, we weren't even allowed to take that corner. But anyway, the referee blows full time on that one. Still nil nil draw to end the season. I'm I'm quite I'm quite pissed off with that if I'm gonna be honest. But we, that that's that. Great finish the season, guys. Bye 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 bye. Absolutely age game, but never mind. Um, yeah, we we don't need to look at that. It was the last game of the season. But those last five games wasn't exactly the way I was planning on finishing it. Uh, we drew against Ingolstadt. We won against Chemnitz and Rostock, but we had a really sort of boring loss to 18 60 Munich, which we really should have at least got a draw. And then we had a really crap 0 0 draw with um, Price and Munster. But anyway, we've, we've got a league title under our belt. We guaranteed promotion, and that is that. So, guys, this, this is it. That's the end of the three leaguer. I know, it's been an amazing journey. We've, like I've seen, we've had a lot of ups, we've had a few downs. 
We've had some laughs, we've had some cries. I've made a lot of crap jokes along the way. But we've had a great time. I think we'd all agree that. Um, so, yeah, that's us. Promoted to the Bundesliga too. Absolutely amazing. We are going up. I say we are going up. Um, to the Bundesliga too. So that is going to be massive uh, next season. We've got a few expiring contracts, but I'll deal with that off camera. So, what I want you guys to do, you've got to, guys, you've got to do a big, big favour for me, is... It'll be the award ceremony, the Magdeburg award ceremony next episode. So I'm going to be picking a manager's player of the year and a manager's young player of the year. What I want you guys to do is a fans player of the year and a fans young player of the year. So one of the sort of young players that stood out to you, vote in the comments. We'll be putting a poll up on Insta as well. So if you watch this, come along and vote. But also vote in the comments um, if you guys want. That would be a massive big favour for me if you could do that. But I really hope you enjoyed it. That season one out the way, bang, boom, finished. Now, I'm starting college next week. I've had my induction, so that's why I've sort of managed to get this out. It's maybe a bit later than usual. I know I usually upload them about early morning in the middle of the afternoon, but um, it's sort of a bit later. That's going to happen. While I'm at college, because the hours will be on, I'm recording them early in the morning and then putting them up sort of late afternoon. Um, so bear with me, I will keep trying to get two out a week because it sort of gets things out of the way quicker. We're moving on to the Bundesliga too as soon as we get the award ceremony out of the way. So the award ceremony and season review will be next episode, guys. So I hope you can join me for that. And like I said, please, please vote. Thanks for the, a massive amount of support. And we wouldn't have got to this point without you guys, the fans, all my season ticket holders, subscribers, you know what I mean. But yeah, so we couldn't have got this. You know, you guys liking leaving nice comments of support and just going along on the journey with me. It's been fantastic. That's us. Three Liga champions. First bit of silverware under my belt as a manager. And you know, the sky's the limit with this Magdeburg team. I'm looking forward to the Bundesliga 2 campaign. So yeah, absolute legends. You all are for helping me along on this journey. So like I said, remember to vote for a player of the year and a young player of the year for the fans' choice. I'll be picking mine. And the season review will be out next episode. For so join me on that, join me for that on Thursday. But you guys know the drill. If you've liked this, please leave a like. And if you haven't already and you're dropping by for the first time, subscribe. Go all the way back to episode one where we first began this journey, um, and watch it all the way through. Because I'll guarantee you, it's been a fantastic, fantastic journey. I've had so much fun recording this. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for all the support. Jack out.